we had some good times. We had some really fun memories. He had a 1960s F-150. He, or F-100, excuse me, F-100. Um, he fixed it up. He painted it. He did all this work to it, made it cherry. Everybody loved that, that truck. And it was gorgeous. He put a new radio system in it. It was awesome. And I was sitting in the cab one day because he had to go to work. He was always going to work always going to work, two or three jobs at a time. And he was like, okay, I'm going to need you to sit here, wait here for me. I got to go take a poop. I'll be right back. It's not going to take me long. He ran in the house. I wasn't, an, I wasn't a very patient child. And we already settled that I wasn't very smart either. <laughs> but my dad told me, he said, don't get out of the truck because if you do, Somebody will steal it. This is a sweet ride, right, Junior? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I got you. I'll guard. And I sat there for what seemed like 30 minutes. It was probably only like two or three, to be honest. But for me, it was 30 minutes. And I started looking around, and I was like, oh, my God, what if he fell in like they're always talking about? They're always talking about you got to put the seat down or you'll fall in. What if he sat down and he just fell in? Then i got to get him out of the toilet. And I looked over, and I was like, but he doesn't want me to cut off the truck. And if I leave it, someone might steal it. I know what I'll do. So I locked both doors, and I closed the doors. No one was going to drive off in that motherfucking truck. And I, as, as I turned the corner of the truck, he came out the door and he saw me and he was like, Junior, I said, don't leave the truck. Someone might steal it. Get back in. And I was like, oh, okay. I was just trying to help you. I thought you fell in. And I turned around and I started towards the truck. And he said, all right, we got to go. I'm running late already. And I said, okay, unlock the door. And he said, what? I said, I locked the door so no one would steal it. <laughs> oh, all of the color in his face drained. He had to go in and get a metal clothes hanger and play with the door for like 30 more minutes to try to get it unlocked. It's a good thing he wasn't a cat burglar, I'm just saying. He was no good at that. Uh, the whole time he was just, <laughs> it's okay, Junior, it's okay. It's okay. And finally, he got to work about an hour late. But, you know, shit happens. 